Welcome to Tractor Driving 101. In this series, we'll be learning all the essentials for safe and efficient tractor driving, and we'll be doing it by watching other people's biggest tractor blunders. We'll be focusing on the most common mistakes people make when driving a tractor and showing you how to avoid them. So whether you're an experienced pro or just starting out, this series will give you the tips and tricks you need to become a confident and competent tractor driver. All of the clips that I've used in this video are linked in the description down below. Now subscribe to the Tractor Bob YouTube channel and let's get started. A lot of people don't buckle up before they drive their tractor. And I've even heard people say, if I roll my tractor when I'm buckled up, it'll crush me if it flips. Well, I stumbled across this video of engineers testing the roll of a protection system, also known as the ROPS bar. And despite what you might think, this bar works quite well. Not only does it keep the tractor from completely rolling over, but the test dummy inside is unharmed since his seatbelt was securely fastened. The one lesson to take away from this video is that you should always keep your ROPS bar up and seatbelt on when possible. Okay, you saw how the ROPS limited the, the roll of tractor and create, create that protected zone for the operator. And the operator stayed inside because he has a seat belt firmly attached. It happened just like that. This gentleman was driving on a familiar path and unfortunately got a bit too comfortable. He says he was raising his bucket while driving down this path and at the same time he must have hit a root sticking up out of the ground. Surprisingly that was all it took for his tractor to roll over. The combination of a top heavy load matched with the speed and slight bump in the ground was the perfect formula to flip a tractor on its side. There are a few lessons we can take home from this man's accident. First, accidents on a tractor can happen in the blink of an eye, and when you're on a familiar path, you shouldn't let yourself get overly confident. Secondly, when you have too much weight up high, a small slope or even a slight turn at a moderate speed can be enough to flip your tractor over. Finally, always wear your seatbelt and have the ROPS bar up like this guy did. One important note that he covers in his video that I'll share with all of you is that you should never start your tractor after you roll it back onto its wheels. Oil can seep up on top of the pistons, causing warpage from pressure buildup, so give the tractor plenty of time to sit and call your dealer to get any advice they might have about your particular tractor. Now this tractor accident is crazy, but thankfully no one was hurt. All right, let's watch. As you can see from the video, a man is driving a tractor with a crop trailer on the back. Now you'd think that because this tractor operator is towing five guys around on his trailer, that he'd be cautious. But once again, complacency has come to ruin another man's day. Because this driver is paying zero attention to the car that's barreling down the road. Let's see what happens. And there you have it, a miracle from God caught on video. As you can see, the tractor chassis snaps completely in half and the guy who was driving is left there in utter disbelief as to what just happened. Now there are a couple of takeaways from this video. For starters, always look before you cross the road, kids. And secondly, sometimes the dumb get lucky, but they're always teetering on the brink of death. So I was actually doing a project that my wife asked me to do and I really didn't want to do and was in a hurry and completely blew it. Mistake number one, this guy listened to his wife and instead of treading cautiously, he got in a hurry and rolled his tractor over. In all seriousness, he makes quite a few mistakes and listening to his wife was not one of them. For starters, he explains how his brush pile is sitting on an embankment, making it impossible to load heavy branches on uneven ground. And when he drove down to compact the pile, his tire fell in a hole and he flipped his cab tractor. Now thankfully for him, the only damage that he had was a broken side view mirror. His method for rolling the tractor back over was pretty good, using pulleys and trees to help him get a good angle. However, his final mistake was starting the tractor immediately after he flipped it back upright. At the very least, he should have let the tractor sit for a while before starting it back up. This accident is an important lesson that when you get in too big of a hurry on a tractor and try to impress your wife, you can make critical mistakes that take days or even weeks to recover from. Getting the job done safely is more important 
important than getting it done fast. Thanks for watching Tractor Driving 101. We hope you learned something new and valuable about avoiding common mistakes when driving a tractor. Remember, the key to safe and efficient tractor operation is practice and attention to detail. Keep these tips and tricks in mind as you continue your tractor driving journey and don't be afraid to make mistakes because that's how you learn and grow. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. Tap the bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.